When storm chasing, you travel far just to see one thing, a tornado. But once you do, you get incredible shots and from a safe distance. But what if we push these limits? What if we put something inside of this tornado to collect data and get video footage from inside of it? Which leads us to here, the Carolina Chasers weather probe. I built this and we are hoping to get some incredible video of it and even attach a Kestrel to it. So why not we test this out? So first, we're going to test this out like any ordinary person in with a leaf blower. So here I have an in-speed anemometer, the measured wind speeds, and oh, turn that down, turn that down. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, it's getting 70s, uh, and right there, it peaked to about 100, which could be accurate, but probably around the 80s, 70s is more accurate for what this leaf blower is, as I also tested it on my weather station. And here you go. <laughs> That didn't work very well, so let's add duct tape. That was actually working pretty decently until I angled the leaf blower to go directly under the duct tape. Then the duct tape kind of gave out. So uh, either I'm gonna do a like a uh, hatch system for it or just put extra layers of duct tape. Also, what's a storm without rain? So let's turn the hose to jet real quick. And there you go. The main thing with water is you don't want it on the lens or this dome. And the reason why that happened is because at one point I angled the jet to be going like kind of up uh, so the only way that would happen is if there's a very strong updraft that is somehow bringing rain up and under that dome. This right here is more of a downdraft rain, obviously not as heavy as the jet, and uh, it's angled downwards instead of upwards. So the two main things that I need to do is make a little latch so that way the uh, dome will not pop up whenever the winds are very high and then also somehow maybe try to find a way to make that plastic dome water phobic so that way water would not kind of pile up on there it is supposed to run off of there after like a few seconds but still would be better to have no water instead of having some but that is really all for this video so i hope you did enjoy and be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next storm ah!